So let me show you a couple of things, and let me show you uh, a little bit about the software, a little bit about bridge pages, and a little bit about Facebook ads. So what you're looking at right here is called a smart member site. These are called smart member, these are like membership sites. You can get your hands on them, you can build unlimited membership sites, you can have unlimited members, you can have unlimited traffic, you know, you, and right now you're gonna have the opportunity to get them for no monthly fees whatsoever, just a one-time unlimited lifetime price. So in a nutshell, with these smart member sites, you are able to upload a logo, you're able to create any kind of uh, menu navigation bar you want, several different options. You're able to come in here and uh, customize pretty much everything, sidebar banners, as many as you want, upload modules, give them titles, or maybe you just give them, you know, just like this and put timestamps next to them. It's basically, if you've ever seen Udemy, it's modeled after Udemy. It's a very brilliant, it's very fast loading, there's lots of stuff you can do. Well, what you're doing is you're looking at the current version that we've that we've been using for about six months, version 1.5. In version 1.5, you can come up here and you can you know edit the theme, you can edit a background image, you can choose to do all kinds of stuff to it. Very very cool. You know, you just click buttons and it changes everything on there. It's super cool software. It lets you customize and build these sites very easily. Look at all this cool stuff you can do. You know, you can really customize this in just seconds. Uh, very very easy. Like you might want your logo on the on the left right there. You might want your logo on the right. You know, you might want your logo above. You see how easy it is to do that. And then when you're done, you just go up to the top and you press save. Or you might want to change the colors around completely. You might want you know whatever types of colors, any types of colors that you want. You might go, oh, I like that color right there, that gray. Or you can do more, and you can do any color you want. So we've really thought this through. There's all of these different options that you can do, and it's just that simple. You just save the changes when you're done. Okay. Okay, so let me log in. Let me go into the admin account now. Let me log in. Let me go into that. This is the version 1.5, and I'm about to reveal 2.0. So version 1.5, we basically introduced all of these different things you can do, so many different things you could do. We have setup wizards to walk you through stuff. You can build out entire site content. You can have a whole blog. There's so much you could do here. This was one of the best softwares out there, right? Uh, you can set up different access levels for people to access certain sections. So cool. But one of the cool things about it was creating bridge pages. These bridge pages are basically like lead capture pages. These pages allow you to be able to capture leads or be able to bridge your offers, be able to create landers, and the best part is they're fully dynamic. There's just tons of cool stuff you can do with them. And this is one of the most popular features that people absolutely love. And so this is cool how we basically were able to do all this. You're able to you know, so much stuff you're able to do here. I just love it. This is like my favorite tool, and I'm so proud of the team that did such a good job building all of this. So this is version 1.5 that you're looking at right here, and it builds the sites just like this. Okay, now by the way, if you guys see a couple things pop up, I'm on the test server right now because I'm about to show you, uh, I'm about to show you a test server uh, version. So you might see a couple things that are quirky because I'm gonna show you the test server. I'm just gonna prep you up front that um, I'm gonna be, I'm logged in on the developer side right now, not on the public side, just in case you need to need to know that. So what we did is we like this toolbar option up here. This toolbar allows you to have access to your admin area, allows you to design, allows you to have access to your support when people leave um, stuff, allows you to log out, it's very clean, right? But what we did was we went one better for this new upcoming launch. And I'm about to show you, now some of it is still gonna be um, in developer mode, but I'm about to start leaking to you over the course of the next several days, Smart Member 2.0. It's very, very exciting with what we've done. So now I'm on a development server, okay? Same site, I'm on a development server, and we're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna mess with this site. I'm gonna basically beat this site up and do all kinds of weird stuff to it because it's on the development server. And I'm not gonna show you everything because I've only had them push some things today for today's demo, but I'm gonna at least show you what, what I can show you for the time being, okay? So when you become an admin, you're able to log in. We have a brand new toolbar up on the top. This new toolbar is very, very, very innovative. There's a lot more you're gonna be able to do with it. And you're able to build out bridge pages, membership sites, you're able to build out um, landers for your Facebook ads, you're able to manage all of your email and all your contacts, you're able to uh, manage all of your support, handle all of your customers, launch all of your products. This is a tool suite that is gonna blow a lot of people away, okay? So let me give you a quick little tour of it, and then I wanna dive into a few sections such as bridge pages today. And over the next several days, you're gonna get a little bit more of a demo every single day until you see the true power 
of exactly what we have our hands on. So first things first is let's give a little tour of the nav bar. Over here on the left, you've got you know basic options under your profile. If you wanted to go in and change your account settings and update your username or your profile photo or whatever it might be, um, you got all that here. But then you also have this option, which is really cool. You can update and add email addresses. So let's say that you use like three or four email addresses that you like to log in with stuff. You can actually come here and you can add as many, you can add and verify email addresses to be able to assign them to your account. So you might have like four different emails you use, but you want to make sure, you know, you might have forgotten one or whatever. You can just come in here and add all these. Very, very, very cool. That's kind of like the basic area, cool stuff here. Okay. The next three sections are browse, design, and build. We've made it very, very simple for you. Browse, this first section here is where you're actually able to browse all of the different smart member sites that you either um, are the admin of or other sites that you've joined as a member. So what's gonna happen is you'll be presented with, uh, in the, initially, probably just your own site. So what happens is like you're an admin, you've just joined your own site, but what happens if you join somebody else's, th uh, you know, somebody else's site in the network? It's gonna all show up in one nice, convenient area right here, like your own directory of sites. And as more and more people start using Smart Member, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a huge directory where you can go in and you can join sites. Some of them will be free, some of them will be paid, and you can browse and you can watch overview videos and you can basically create a collection of all the coolest um, you know, training courses and micro niche sites that you can think of that you wanna join. And it might not be all marketing sites. We're gonna basically branch into the, the big leagues and go into like micro niche sites, like sites about fishing and camping and hunting and, and dancing and you know, skateboarding. I mean, whatever you can think of, you know, tutorial videos on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you name it. If you are in, if your business, if you're in any niche out there at all, if you're making money in any niche whatsoever, then you can use this entire software platform to be able to generate massive leads, traffic, and sales for every single thing that you do. That's why my business is called the three C's. The three, C, the three C's, uh, in case you didn't catch that earlier, the three C's stand for create, capture, convert. Create traffic, capture leads, convert sales. Create traffic, capture leads, convert sales. So what happens is that's exactly what these smart member sites are designed to do. They're designed, uh, they're SEO optimized, so they're designed to help you create massive traffic, plus they're great with Facebook ads for traffic. They're designed to be able to convert leads, I'm gonna show you how that happens, and they're, or sorry, to be able to capture leads and to be able to convert sales. You can actually charge using Stripe or PayPal, or you can connect them to ClickBank or JVZoo, you name it. This is a powerful software you're gonna be learning about over the next several days. So imagine being able to have your site featured in a directory where other people can come and they can join it. That's how powerful this is. Smart Member is gonna be sending you a ton of business just because people, as we grow, people are gonna be able to search and find your site and find all that. And you're gonna be able to come here and filter the sites that you're the admin of or the sites you're the member of. Maybe I wanna come here and only see sites I'm a member of, you know? Or maybe I wanna come here and I wanna see sites that I'm the admin of. And then you'll also notice other roles such as editor, support. What that means is basically you can grant roles to other people. Let's say you wanna have a site and you wanna have somebody manage your support, okay? That's all, you only wanna give them access to your support, you don't want to give them access to anything else. That's a support role. You can literally grant somebody just access to manage your support or just access to build content on your site or just access to view content or you can make them an admin. So you have the ability to be able to create a site, be able to say, hey, okay, you're the admin, you're the editor, you're the support person. And even like you can have an affiliate manager who has access to all your affiliates and everything in there. You can basically grant access to people and create a little team that can run a successful launch or a successful marketing campaign, whether you sell Shopify or whether you sell on Facebook or Teespring or Gearbubble, it doesn't matter what you're selling, you can have a team here of VAs to run all your operations for anything that you wanna run them on. It is very, very, very cool. So that is the browse section and notice down here, I can create a new site. So anytime that I want, I can actually go in and I can create a new site. If you have an unlimited account, you'll be able to create unlimited sites and I'm able to come in here, I'm able to give my site a name you know, like let's just call it, you know, uh, Chris Records uh, Killer Bonus Site. And then I can go over here and it's gonna recommend something to me, but I might go like, let's just say like Chris Record Bonus 
site, something like that, and it'll tell me if the URL is available or not. And then down here, if I want to map it, I can actually just map it to, you know, whatever name I want, Chris Record bonus site.com and I go there and then of course there's instructions for domain mapping but that's all I have to do I just go there and I can basically build that site and I don't want to build a whole bunch right now in the demo we'll come back and do that later but that's really how easy it is you can build a site and then of course there's going to be uh, instructions right there that you're going to be able to follow there's a video there's tutorial stuff like that that you're going to be able to follow to be able to come in and, and learn how to learn how to be able to map your domain name how to be able to map the C name records uh, you name it. So we're basically showing you how to be able to do that, how to be able to set that up, okay? Really cool stuff. So let's go back. Let's not worry about that right now. So here's all these sites, but I think that's enough for this section. Just imagine this thing's going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. We've already have hundreds and I think thousands of sites that are in here. I have no clue. Now, you'll notice these stats down here, but this I'm on the development server, so these stats aren't necessarily all real. So just Keep in mind that right now, these are just development server stats. So the one thing I will tell you is some of the stuff I'm showing you is development server. Um, so like all of these sold, like this one right here has done like 500,000. This one right here has done like over 100,000 or so. I don't, I don't know how much it was, but it was a lot. Uh, there's, there, you know, 126. So a lot of this is going to show up. These are sites. We've done millions of dollars in smart member sites between several members. Millions of dollars already just on version 1.0 and 1.5. Imagine what we're going to do with version 2.0. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial of the browse section.